So you've never vacationed in Florida before. This happens all the time. It rains super hard, just like this. And then all of a sudden, it goes away. Today we are going to Zoo Tampa at Lowry Park, located in Tampa, Florida. Nearly 1 million people visit the 65 acre zoo a year to see more than 1,300 animals. But our main mission today is to see a manatee. And hopefully we get it before this big rain comes in. We are at Zoo Tampa. We're here to see some animals. Let's go! The main reason we went to this zoo was it was previously voted number one family friendly zoo in the US by Parents Magazine. Best yet, this was included in our Tampa Bay City Pass. What I really liked about the City Pass was we were able to save 54% on the top attractions in the Tampa area. What was included was the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, the Florida Aquarium, Bush Gardens, and even a dolphin sightseeing ride. Welcome back to Marco's Cool. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. I didn't get very far. I've always wanted a hiking hat. I look cool like Cowboy Jojo. That was pretty cool. They actually have different sections of where you can go into the zoo. I might not be the Tiger King. No way I'm getting close to the Malayan Tiger. We are blown away how cool it is, how close everything is. I've been to a lot of different zoos and I really like how they set everything up. Now, these crocodiles are from India. They have a weird snout, almost like bird-like. So if a crocodile lies too many times, you end up looking like this. Oh, they're critically endangered too. These guys can grow up to 20 feet in length. They're one of the largest species of crocodilians in the world. This is truly Florida. It is starting to get windy, leaves are blowing, clouds just brought in. We're trying to make double time. We're gonna try to see as much as we can here. Stay wow. There. Up there. I know it's a zoo, but they got roller coasters for kids, carousel, and even those water rides where they splash you down. There are so many things to do here, I can totally see why it was ranked number one as a family-friendly zoo in the U.S. I got a wild love. Yeah, yeah. I got a wild love. Yeah, yeah. I got a love, a love. Yeah, yeah. I got a love. Yeah, yeah. Some people say Money gets you everything So our strategy was to hang out here at the carousel. There's a nice cover. So you've never vacationed in Florida before. This happens all the time. It rains super hard, just like this. And then all of a sudden, it goes away. The good thing is when it rains, it cools down by several degrees. That's a win. It's really neat here and they have a lot of fun things to do. And there's definitely a lot of different species of birds. So my first question when I saw the bald eagles was, are they going to fly away? But they have injuries so they cannot fly. Last time we saw that emu, we were at Safari Lake Geneva. He's eyeing you, Carl. So we're here in Africa, as you guys know, or maybe some of you guys don't know. I lived in Africa for three years when I was four to seven years old. My dad was there for a project. It was actually pretty fun. I got to see a lot of these animals. I think one thing they've done really well is create the ambiance like you're actually in Africa. How do we miss these monkeys? It's one of my favorite part of it every time I go to any zoo. It looks like we have some orangutans. There is a baby. So right, we're in the Florida section. There's a lot of wildlife here in Florida. With the rain behind us, it's time to go to the manatee mangrove. This will be the first time we'll see a manatee in real life. Nemo! What do you call that? Do you remember what kind of fish it is? Clownfish! Good job, Rosalie. Yellow, red, snake. 
and a gray rat snake. Yeah, when you see a snake like this, Rosalie, you don't touch them, okay? Oh my gosh, that was a rock. A turtle. Look at a turtle. It looks like a rock. What's pretty cool is that manatees don't have any natural predators. It's just us, really. An interesting part with these manatees is back in the day they thought mermaids were actually manatees. They're not as cute as the people that they uh, present during uh, those books or Disney movies. So if you look right over here, look at the backs. There's a bunch of scratch marks. That's from the propellers that end up hitting the manatees. So it's so sad. Right now, 10% of Florida's total manatee population has died because seagrass is dying off. So it's really great to see over here that all these manatees that are here being rehabilitated have all the food they can eat. Our family was so excited to see these manatees live. They are just such majestic creatures. Hey babe, what is your final thoughts of Zoo Tampa? I loved it. I like how uh, everything is like all together and you could it's easy to navigate, easy to walk through. Everything is really well maintained too. Like the foliage and the trees and everything. It, everything's very pristine here. Make sure to like and subscribe to you down below. And hit that notification bell while you're at see when a new video comes out. So our next journey. Bye!